Seven bizarre things about North Korea. North Korea. Sometimes just taking the name of the country raises eyebrows, doesn't it? In this article today, we are going to take you through some of the most bizarre things that happen there. Like the country has only 4 TV channels, while the rest of the world has hundreds, or that blue jeans are banned there, or that women have only 14 hairstyles to choose from and have to keep their hair short after marriage. Keep watching this video to learn more about this country. Here's a fact for you right at the beginning of the video. Korea was once ruled by the Empire of Japan, and not for a year or two, for 30 years from 1910 to 1945. Did you know that? North Korea has been in the news for a myriad of reasons: for showcasing its nuclear power, its bizarre laws, or the stories of human rights violations doing rounds on the internet we all may have heard and read a lot of heavy heartbreaking stories from the country but in this video we are going to tell you some lighthearted yet uber bizarre facts about north korea that will surely make you want to share them with your friends let's begin do you know that north korea has only 4 tv channels And that's not all. You can browse only 28 websites. There are only 4 television channels in North Korea. Their names are Korean Central Television, Mansudae, Athletic Television, and Yongnamsan. These are all state-owned channels. One for political news, one for news from abroad, one for sports, and one for any live announcements or programs. These all play from daytime to prime time. For a really long time, North Korea had only one TV channel available. The country cannot receive signals from any other country, which leaves its citizens with no choice but to use one of these four channels. Also, earlier in 2016, the country revealed it had only 28 websites. And this was accidentally revealed when a software engineer, Matt Bryant, sat down and made a list of websites that end with .kp. Out of these 28 websites, most are propaganda websites. One is for airline ticketing, one for a university, one for a group, and so on. You'll find it interesting to know that unlike most countries where there is internet, North Korea is connected through a state-owned intranet called Kwangmyeong, available only within state borders through fiber optic cables. In fact, to buy a laptop in the country, you need the permission of the government. Speaking of websites dedicated to propaganda, it brings us to the second fact about a whole village dedicated to propaganda in North Korea. Kijongdong A peace village on the borders of North Korea is known as propaganda village around the world. Only two villages are allowed to stay in the TMZ, which was established in the Korean War in 1953 and is 4 kilometers wide. That's 2.5 miles. One of it is Kijongdong of North Korea and the other is Daesongdong of South Korea. Apparently North Korea uses the village to show the world how great it is to live in the country. Some believe that the brightly colored buildings are nothing but empty shells with windows painted on them. It may not have a single resident despite North Korea claiming it has 200. In the 1950s when electric street lighting was a big thing, the village had it to impress the world. Even today The North Korean government continues to assert that the town is home to hundreds of contented citizens. According to the legend, the town also has a hospital, kindergarten, primary and high schools and a child care facility. The truth, we leave for you to judge. The control the North Korean government has over the lives of its citizens is quite high, and that brings us to the third fact. In North Korea, Elections happen but there is only one candidate you know who the elections are namesake no choice is offered to its citizens the country makes it mandatory for all of its citizens to vote anyone who is above the age of 17 must come out and vote for the only candidate to show their devotion for the family once a voter gets their turn to vote 
A ballot paper with one name is given to them. There are no stamps or ticks. You take the paper and drop it into the ballot. Now, in theory, one can cross out the name of the candidate and vote in secret. But doing that means attracting attention for all the wrong reasons. Heard of the secret police? Let's say no further. On to fact number four. The country has its own calendar. This calendar is based on its founder's date of birth. It's called the Juche calendar. So if it is 2022 around the world, it may be 111 in North Korea. How does that work, you may ask? Here's how. The Juche calendar starts in 1912, the year Kim Il-sung was born. As opposed to the Gregorian calendar, which counts down from the birth of Jesus Christ in year 1, the founding father and eternal leader of North Korea is Kim Il-sung. North Koreans refer to 1912 as Juche 1, using the Juche calendar. Therefore, 2022 is sometimes referred to as Juche 111. On September 9, 1997, the anniversary of North Korea's founding, the Juche calendar was put into official use. All year-bearing items must start using the new Juche era dating system as of this date. Time for the next fact. Fact number 5. If you love blue jeans, who doesn't, right? Then you cannot wear them in North Korea. They are banned. And that is not all that is banned. To keep the country free from Western influences, they have banned a lot more than one would otherwise love. Since last May, North Korea has outlawed hairstyles including mullets, skinny jeans and body piercings in an effort to avoid importing decadent Western fashion trends. It happened after Kim Jong-un, according to the BBC, called Western speech, clothing and hairstyles dangerous poisons. Speaking of banning certain hairstyles, here's fact number six. There are 28 state-approved hairstyles for men in the country and 14 for women. The citizens have to choose from a list of these hairstyles as common practice. And it is not just the kind of style that is pre-decided for the NK folk. The length of hair is also a rule. Men are not allowed to grow their hair over 5 cm or less than 2 inches. However, older men are allowed to go up to 7 cm, that's 3 inches. According to a report by The Telegraph, women can select from 14 different looks. Married women are advised to keep their hair short, whilst unmarried girls are free to let their longer, curlier locks go wild. And that is not as bizarre as it gets. It brings us to our seventh and the most bizarre fact of all. If one person commits a crime, three generations are sent to prison. Yes, you heard that right. The government believes that blood is guilty. Your children and grandchildren will also be subjected to the full force of your punishment, which frequently entails a life sentence in prison if you commit a crime. Difficult to believe, right? This rule was established in 1950 with the intention of eradicating the bloodline of North Korean counter-revolutionaries after the war. This kin punishment has been widely criticized around the globe but continues to be in existence even today. Other than North Korea, Nazi Germany, the Soviet Union and non-Western cultures like China and Japan have also used kin punishment in the past. Oof, that's all for this video, guys. Do you know any other bizarre facts about North Korea? Have you been to the country? Tell us in the comments below. Keep watching videos from Luxury Traveller and Fun Facts. And you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share. See you next time.